Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Boutwell and this video provides an overview of MRI technology. So what is MRI? MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging. It's an exam that uses a magnetic field and radio waves to create images of structures inside the body. The machine consists of a cylindrical tube surrounded by powerful magnets. A bed is placed inside the cylindrical tube for the patient to lie on. Here are the two types of MRI machines. You have the closed MRI which can be uncomfortable for patients and you have the open MRI which gives the patient a lot more freedom and is perfect for people that suffer with claustrophobia. So how does the MRI work? Well, magnetic fields cause protons of hydrogen molecules inside the body to align. This is known as the magnetic resonance phenomenon. Once the protons are aligned, beams of radio waves are then introduced causing the protons to spin and relax. The relaxation of these protons causes a faint signal that is gathered by receiver coils and sent to a computer to be processed into images. Well, the history of the MRI begins in 1946 with Felix Bloch and Edward Purcell's discovery of the magnetic resonance phenomenon. In 1971, Raymond Damadian realized that the MR phenomenon could be used to distinguish between normal tissues and tumors. Dr. Damadian could only use parameters to examine tissues, but then in 1973, Paul Lutterbauer developed a way to produce images from MR scans using the same method as CT exams used for imaging. Then in 1977, the first MR scan of a human body was done after a long five-hour exam. Alright, here we have two pictures. One of Dr. Damadian standing next to the first MRI machine. And to the right is him hooked up to the MRI machine. Today, MRIs are used to examine organs, tissue, and skeletal systems in a non-invasive way. Even though they can be used to examine the whole body, including the heart, liver, kidney, bones, breast, and reproductive structures, they are most frequently used for brain and spinal cord conditions. Here we have an MRI image of a fetus in the mother's womb. And to the right, we have a brain scan showing a tumor. The future is bright for MRI technology. Smaller and cheaper magnets will have the same strength as magnets used now, allowing for the commercialization of MRI machines. MR scanners will be developed for patients with metallic implants. And also, MR scanners will be integrated with PET exams to provide structural and metabolical data in a single scan. New contrast agents, which are drugs that are injected into the body to highlight specific areas, will be used as a key tool in diagnosis. This is how the PET and the MRI exam will work together. And to the right is how simple a commercialized MRI machine could be.